Hello, everybody. It's been a while since I made a video or did much of anything. I have posted a... I did post a video of my kids singing. Their dad turns 60 this next week, the 10th of September. And we're living down in Texas and all the kids are in Missouri, except for one, except, well, two. There's one who's living with us right now. He, he, um, he graduated from high school last year. And he'll be heading off for college uh, in the spring semester. Then I have one that's in grad school in San Marcos, Texas. Everybody else is in Missouri, and we're not from Missouri. Hey, anybody from Missouri out there? Um... We, I would say I'm from Kentucky. Hey, Kim Mosley. And uh, let's see. My husband's from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So <laughs> we met because he came down to work at a Christian radio station my dad had started. And then the kids have basically grown up overseas in various places. I have one that speaks Hungarian, and some of them speak Russian, and then a few of them started learning Chinese. and. So we don't really know where we're from. We just, we're from Earth <laughs> and we're looking to heaven. And I just wanted to come on today to say, hello everybody, I'm still here and we're all still here for that matter. I really didn't have anything profound to say, but I just wanted to come on and talk about maybe about how good God is to to me when the kids all came that was the first time we had been together all together with everybody there since wow uh, well all of them had not been down here in Texas that's for sure it was the first time all of them had come to Texas and it was a really really special time we we left China under some circumstances that were not pleasant and it's been rather rough being back in the US and this was just a very a very good time for us all I pray that it was a time for for really good for really good healing I know that sounds terrible that's not very good grammar but it was just really, really special, and I, I, you know, I can't really tell you all the details on that, but um, I just wanted to share, when I did share them singing, um, there was more, there was, my heart was just so very full. That was my husband's favorite hymn that they sang, and so it meant a, a, a whole lot to him. But I had found some letters and cards and different things that I had saved that were written from people different places. A letter from a student in China or some notes written when we lived in Ukraine or just different things like that that I found. I was, watch I was reading them last night. And, you know, sometimes we we live so day to day life is daily and we wonder i mean we forget things we forget just the things that happened two years ago five years ago we forget all those little details and when i was looking through all these old cards and letters and notes and things i'd saved it brought back things that god had done and how he had been such, how he had answered prayer, or how he had worked. You know, <laughs> my husband was talking about this morning about the letters and notes that he got from people that my, my kids had, we had asked people to write him some letters of blessing. And he was talking about how he didn't realize he'd made an impact there or he didn't know that this had been that mattered and and I kind of laughed and laughed and told him I said well it wasn't you it was the Lord and that's what's so you know so special is that 
he does things that we don't do. That's the whole point. He's the one that does it. He's the one that bears the fruit. I found some acorns here. You know, this tree just grows and then it bears the acorns. It doesn't try, it doesn't, it really, it doesn't grunt and work really hard. And, and sometimes we can get really down on ourselves and feel like such a failure, like we haven't, oh God, I haven't done anything. I haven't, I haven't done enough. You know, there's that feeling we have. There's that thought. We haven't done enough. But he has. He's done it all. And I know for me sometimes I just feel like right now, since we have come back, it's easy for me to feel like I've just been put on the shelf. Like I'm not really doing anything, you know. And then I have to think, well, he's the one that does it anyway. We really... Are dependent on him completely in everything if you're feeling that way today if you're listening to the accuser which all of us sometimes do or you're feeling like a failure or you've messed up here or you haven't done that that's why Jesus came in the first place that's why we are totally dependent on him in every way it's not by works that we've done anything. They're not worth anything. It's his work. And I was just reminded of, of that this weekend, of how good he is to us. How so good. He has been so good to me. He has given me eight beautiful children. All of them want to, all of them want to follow the Lord. It's not perfect, but none of us are our, only Jesus is and He's just been so good. And I just want to publicly say that. God, you are so good to me. I have done nothing to deserve it. I have done nothing. You've done it all. So if you're feeling that way today, you can just rest assured, yes, you haven't. You really haven't done anything. But he has because he's good. And because... We had to have him do it. Um, anyway, as we wait and as we look for him, just rest in him today. He is so good.